Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to open up a chart on the Jigsaw Day Trader software. Now, first up, we'll need to start with our empty workspace here our, in our toolbox. If you do want to open up a chart, you'll first need to open up the depth and sales. And opening up a chart is a little bit tucked away, but I'd just like to mention first, if you do not see this depth and sales button here, it's either likely one or two things. You either do not have your license key properly activated for one, or you may have accidentally hidden your um, depth and sales button here. So if you want to, you can reactivate that by going to add or remove buttons, heading over to tools, and then making sure depth and sales is activated, or you can just click on reset toolbar and that'll do it for you. So now that we have that activated, let's open up depth and sales. So as you can see, you can open this up for either futures, spreads, stocks, or for a specific trading platform. Now we're not gonna get into this in this video, but you can integrate Jigsaw Day Trader with a few other platforms out there, and we'll likely cover that in a different topic. For now, we're gonna open up the native Jigsaw Day Trader chart. So first we'll need to specify our connection type. As you can see, we're gonna use a rhythmic paper trader account for this one. This works with several data feeds and you can have multiple different connections here. We do have in our first video of this series showing you how to establish a connection to a live or demo data feed. So if you aren't sure about that, feel free to check that out first. Once you have your connection established, established you can choose your trading account that is associ associated with that connection type. As you can see, we only have one, but if you do have multiple trading accounts, you can select from this drop down menu here. By default, it will automatically associate one of your accounts with this data feed. Now, from here, we'll need to select our symbol. If you aren't 100% familiar with this symbol that you wanna trade, you can scroll through the different markets here, find the market you wanna trade, and then you know search for your symbol here. Since we've already opened up this symbol before, the E-mini S&P 500, it does show it in our record list here. So we can simply left click on that and it will automatically fill out our session for us. Like I said, if you're not sure, you can choose the session first and then search from there. Now that we have all four fields entered appropriately, we can click on the OK button and this will open up our depth of market here or our depth in sales. Now this itself works as a chart if you'd like to. You can see all the, you know, the volume and depth of market but we can go a step further and we can open up an actual chart and do our analysis off of that. So if you want to open up an actual chart, you can head up to the toolbar at the top of the page here, scroll over to the right and select on the chart little widget here. When you left click on that, it will automatically attach a chart to your depth of market here, your depth in sales. So this is going to be the default chart on the Jigsaw Day Trader platform. As you can see, their chart is oriented around volume and volatility and liquidity in the market. Just to give you a little bit of a rundown here, and we're not gonna show you every single detail of the chart and exactly what everything means, but as you can see in these gray and whitish bars here, these are showing areas, er, areas of liquidity in the market. The brighter the color, the more liquid that area is. So for example, as you can see on this line at 3043, there is high liquidity area within this bar here or within this price. So just to explain that real quick, here we can see um, little trade indicators. As you can see, this is trade info at this specific time and at this specific price, and it's represented by a little trade circle here. As you can see, the red is associated with sell, the blue is buy, so you can see who is long and who is short. Who is short. In the market same thing on the right hand side these are buy and sell prices um, the blue and red associated and this is also the current market price so as you can see when it is attached to your dome the market price is going to automatically associate itself and line up with the market price on your dome as well so that's quite nice they're always in line if you have your chart attached to this window Speaking of attaching and detaching, you can actually do that at the top of your chart here. You'll see there is a undock tool. If you want, you can simply click on that, make your chart full screen, and that way the whole thing becomes viewable. 
Now from here, there are a few different customization options and quote unquote indicators that you can add to your charts. Starting from the top left, we can add a Delta chart. We can add volume. We can add total depth. We can do what they say is uh, flipping your chart. And then if you want, you also have the option to add a crosshair so you can hover over specific prices as needed. You can also zoom in or out as needed using the zoom in or zoom out buttons. If you want, you can clear your chart. If you have anything else on there and just start from scratch. Again, you can dock. You can center your chart if the price actually gets away or, you know, start to move off the screen. And then also you have a couple different customization here options at the top. You can add an interval or change your interval. You can change the width of these intervals. You have your circle tuner, which you can adjust as needed. You have your market depth tuner, and then you have the scope of the depth as well. Other than that, everything is fairly straightforward. You do have an order panel, which will show you if you do have any active orders in the market, it'll show you exactly where along the chart and the price axis it is along. If you do have that order panel activated, and other than that, there are some other customization options when ca which can be accessed through the dome, but we're going to leave that for another video for this. We just wanted to strictly focus on how to open up a chart and cover a few basic features of the chart on Jigsaw Day Trader. That about wraps it up for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please head over to our community forum where we will support you over there. The link will be down in the description. If you need to, you can also use the comment section down below to ask any questions. We'll also answer them down there. Please like and subscribe for future trading content, including Jigsaw Day Trader. We also have a trading podcast if you're not familiar. And you're also welcome to watch the Matt Z Show where we have trading tips, advice, and strategies, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.